The question I'd like to answer today is, is Buddhism selfish? Are Buddhists selfish? This is a question I've been teaching about um, several times, but not on this uh, program. To ask this question, to answer this question, we have to realize first that in Buddhism, we might look at life slightly different than how most people in the West, in the Judeo-Christian culture, look at life. In Buddhism, we think of life as something which, in the long term, we can only help ourselves. When we are born, we are born alone. When we die, we also die alone. We cannot take anyone or anything with us. The only thing what remains with us, at least for a while, are the good and the bad things that we have done, which we call karma. That is quite another large topic to talk about. But to make a long story short, it's important to realize that Buddhism thinks that in the long run, and when you look at things from a perspective of a spiritual and ethical life. So from a Buddhist perspective, we, have, we are leading a life in which we have to take care of ourselves by ourselves. The Buddha taught that no one can be our refuge except for ourselves. The Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha help us to practice our lives, to become a better person. But as the Buddha said, he can only point the way, but you have to walk by yourself. Having understood this, we can say that Buddhism has important, um, thinks it's very important to lead a life in which you take responsibility for yourself, for your own actions and you understand deeply that no one can really help you except for yourself. Also, there is no one in the world who can teach you that well as you can teach yourself. I mean that other people can advise you and maybe see things that you cannot see by yourself. They can point at certain faults, but they cannot help you to overcome suffering in life, to attain true happiness in life. So that's why it's important to realize that we have to take good care of ourselves. Some teachers in the West have therefore used the word uh, a healthy form of uh, selfishness, but I think this term is maybe easy to, it's easy to misinterpret. Mm. Therefore, you could say that Buddhism teaches that you have to take care of yourself first before you start helping another person. It's important to take good care of yourself and you have to take good care of yourself because no one else can really take care of yourself at the deepest level of uh, fulfilling our spiritual needs, of attaining true happiness in life. And there is no one who can really help us to fulfill our spiritual needs, to help us to attain true happiness in life. Therefore, having understood this, you could say that the, to take good care of yourself is the basic step of the good spiritual and ethical life. And after that, you start to take care of others. These two go hand in hand, can go hand in hand, but we should start with ourselves. You could compare this, as the Buddha did, with two people who practice uh, some uh, stunt together, like uh, traditional Indian acrobats, in which one person supports the other person. If the person who supports the other person uh, does not help to support the other person in a stable way, the other person 
might fall down. However, if the person standing uh, on top is uh, maybe uh, uh, walking around too much or uh, moving too much, then the person who is supporting him can maybe, maybe be in trouble. Therefore, you could say that your own benefit, taking good care of yourself, is like the, the basic practice, helping us to develop a stable, basic practice, which can help us to also take care of others. If you take good care of yourself, you find inner happiness and joy coming from your ethical and spiritual practice, doing good deeds, meditation, you will also be able to be a good friend to others in taking care, inspiring them to lead a good and spiritual life. This is how Buddhism teaches to lead a good and spiritual life. And this is what some people might think of as selfish, but in Buddhism we do not think of it that way.